So take that confidence from that display, but also know that we are so much better. All right, some congratulations in order. First for Stafford on being captain, well done staff. Uh, first caps for Alex and Ben, and also Freddie off the bench. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, it's an, it was an awesome moment. Um, Guy told me earlier um, before the walkthrough, so it was, uh, came as a bit of a shock, uh, but yeah, that'll be, definitely be special. I guess just cat from your country, if you've kind of at home, especially in front of your friends and family, it's, it's always going to be a special moment. It's something that I'd probably never thought I'd have the opportunity to do. So um, to find that you're going to do it on Saturdays, yeah, it's definitely a shock. I've not really had a lot of time to think about it, um, but yeah, I guess it has crept in. Obviously, it'll be cool to be able to run out and, and stand at the end of the line and, and sing the anthem, as I said, in, in front of my friends and family, hopefully. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be a special moment and one that I'm really looking forward to. Probably going for my dad now and, and letting know the good news and, and I'm sure he'll make it up to the game. He's really enjoyed the last couple of weeks um, being up at Murrayfield, so the, the chance to maybe get a start and, and also captain the team, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be a really proud moment for him and, and one that we can enjoy together. At Glasgow, obviously, we've got a really good leadership group and, and it's the same here as well, that you just use the boys around you as well. So I'll hopefully try not to say more than I usually do and, uh, and hopefully lead to my actions. Yeah, mate, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I don't think it's really sunk in yet, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's something I've been building for a while. I wasn't expecting it starring as well. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy, but um, it's, yeah, it'll be awesome to run out of Murrayfield that weekend, you know, achieve something I've been building to for my whole life. When I was younger, I just remember going to, went to Scottsdale, was a Warriors fan for a long time. Um, achieved that dream of playing for Glasgow and then now also I've obviously been going to Murrayfield since I was five, six, so it's, uh, yeah, it's awesome, mate. I think like Gregor said, we grew in the session, we can't afford to do that on Saturday, we can't afford to come into the game, expect things to just happen, we've got to knuckle down, go direct and later on in the game the opportunities will open up, so let's make sure captains are on Saturday, Card come our heads on ready to go from the start. Massively excited to be back in the Scotland jersey, you know, getting to play for Scotland, especially at Murrayfield, such a, a huge honour and a massive occasion. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get out there. It's been a, it's been a long two weeks kind of waiting in the wings. So yeah, just looking forward to it. It's obviously a squad tomorrow. It's got a lot of experience, but a lot of uh, some new boys coming in. Obviously some of your Glasgow teammates, Stafford McDowell's captain and Alex Samuel as well. How has the dynamics been this week? It's been great having a lot of changes. Um, this week it's brought in a lot of fresh energy. Obviously, the guys that have played the last couple of weeks have been two massively physical games. So, yeah, having a lot of new guys coming in, a few guys getting their first starts, guys like Staff getting his, his first chance to captain the side.
think we could all see why I certainly was looking at you during the anthem and I see how much this means to you. But um, cap number one, two, three, four, three. Oh. Oh. Frederick, first off, congratulations on making your Scotland debut tonight against Portugal. How are you feeling after the game? Yeah, like really buzzing. Obviously, dream come true, especially playing at Murrayfield, uh, playing in front of so many people. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, in front of friends and family, I'm still over the moon, to be honest. It doesn't feel real. It's not that long ago you were playing here in the Schools Cup final for Stu Mel, and now you're here as a full Scotland international. How's it been the whole time you've been in camp as well, obviously being part and surrounded by some great people? Oh, amazing. The, the boys in camp, they've just been so welcoming. Obviously coming in, I was quite nervous and not sure how I'd do, but everyone was just so nice, always available for everyone in a chat, and um, really made me feel part of the team like day one, so it was really, really good. What's the thoughts on the overall team performance today? Obviously, they come to a win today over uh, Portugal. Yeah, obviously, um, kind of ran away with it. Um, but yeah, I thought we attacked quite well. There's a few sloppy passages, like a bit looseness, but overall, I think we should be really, really happy with that performance. And what is it, uh, the focus now going into the next final game against Australia? Yeah, so obviously, we just got to get back in the camp and now prep for obviously that big game against Australia and obviously the Scotland A game against Chile. We just need to get prepped for that, do our homework, do our analysis, and go straight for it. I was <laughs> <laughs> Donald, you're back here at Scottish Gas Murrayfield. Uh, to take you back, all the way back when to your first cap, can you remind me of uh, what it was and what was the occasion like? Amazing. January 63, Paris. The, the ground was frozen. The temperature was minus 15. There was about a foot of straw on the pitch. So they set fire to it about half an hour before we played. And the French didn't want to play. But the Scots won. <laughs> Ronnie Thompson scored a wonderful try. And it was just an amazing event. Unforgettable. And obviously back then you made your uh, debut as Scotland's youngest ever player record that held today until Freddie Douglas came off the bench and overtook it. How great is it to see the young players coming through today to make their, make their appearance in front of so Murrayfield? Uh, about time my record was broken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he has. Um, no, but one or, I think there were in about three or four teenagers who got a cap since the war. First cap. As a teenager, I think Gregor Townsend was one. So I'm in exulting company. Freddie looks as if he'll go a long way. Oh, I absolutely loved it. Um, one of the things that Jamie spoke to me at the start of the day and he was like, listen, just enjoy every single moment. That's what I tried to do. I, I tried to enjoy going off the bus, just the, the support is second to none, the anthem and then obviously the game. And yeah, I loved it all. It's, it's been really tough um, going into it. I was, I was a bit nervous. This is obviously my second time into the, into the squad and I don't really know what to expect, but I mean, there's such a good culture with the squad. Everyone's so welcoming, but then also very challenging. So I feel like I've, I've worked on my game and improved on my game massively in these last two weeks, um, especially with the coaches as well. And yeah, and to be, to be given the opportunity this week has been an absolute honour um, and, and I've loved all the week. And, and the non-23 especially as well has made it a lot easier for us as, as well. So I've played with Alex for God knows how long. I went against him since I was like 12. Uh, he was my captain at under 20s and I always thought he was an absolute quality player, not only in set piece but also on the, around the pitch. He's extremely aggressive, extremely physical and was fully deserving of the cap. Um, going on to Freddie Douglas, he's, he's quite a talent. Um, he just keeps delivering and delivering every single time he, he, he puts on the jersey or and, and that his debut today is, is fully, fully deserved him. You see him in training and whatnot, and he's one of the most physical players, and he gets through so much work, and obviously his jackling is world-class. He's the best jackler at Edinburgh. Um, at 19 years old, it's pretty impressive, sir. So.